Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this water hydro generator by Purify. Now, they did some of this product for review, but they want me to show you what it is and how it works. Now, what this does is it actually will purify your water, your drinking water, but also add extra hydrogen to it. Uh, this thing is actually kind of cool. There's a lot of technology behind this kind of thing, but let's go ahead and take a look at what comes with the package, and then we're gonna put some water in it and test it out, and I'll show you how it works. And of course, you're gonna get an instruction manual. Good idea to read through this because it gives you all the steps you need to know. And you're gonna get a filter, so it filters your water, and this helps with the oxygenation, uh, hydration into this. Um, and you're gonna get a, a power adapter, the base station, I'll show you more details in a minute. And then you're gonna get the pitcher, and you can see the pitcher is kind of special. It's got uh, some things inside there, which it makes this whole thing work. And it's actually kind of cool because you take the, the lid off and you put the, um, the filter in just like that and and it this it's all built into the picture so it's going to filter and it's going to do a bunch of stuff which i will show you more details of that in a minute too let's take a closer look at the unit itself and how it works um, there are several different buttons there's a power button to power it on you have a magnetic water situation now this one gives you that it says here the vortex motion aerates the water and causes balanced oxygen raised ph levels release vocs and helps retain the H2 for up to three times longer. So what you want to do is you actually want to start this first, um, and uh, there's a little timer that ticks down when that one is done. And then you can got then you have the um, H2 uh, water standard and then H2 water high. This has to do with how long it stays in there and how much of the oxygenation and hydrogen goes into your water. And there's a self cleaning button that you know, you're supposed to do a self cleaning after about 10 cycles through this you just put some water in hit self-cleaning and you want to make sure you dump out uh and rinse out the um all the the cartridge and the the pitcher after the self-cleaning part of it there so it's very simple to to do um this one that is eight minutes of a cycle and this one here is 13 minutes of it and uh so it's very simple and pretty much and again there's a little timer there so uh next step is to wash the pitcher and the filter real good and we're going to put some water in it and give it a try okay i moved over into the kitchen i did wash out the pitcher and i did wash out the filter you need to run water over both of those we're going to go ahead and turn it on everything lights up really really nice and we're going to start with the magnetic water because that's what it says it's supposed to do. And you can see that it's spinning around in there and the little blue lights. Oh, look at that little tornado inside there. So it's actually kind of fun to watch as well while it's doing its thing. Uh, and down here it says 10, so it's a 10 minute thing. We're gonna let that run and then uh, come back for the next cycle. Okay, that was the end of that 10 minutes. It just gives you a beep sound. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do the um, H2O standard which is this one here. Um, we just, I guess we gotta turn it back on again so it turns itself off when it's done and hit the uh, H2O standard for eight minutes or you can do the H2O water. So now, like if I wanted to change to this one, we actually have to stop it by hitting it again and then we can do the, the high one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we're just gonna go for the max and um, let it run. So you're going to see all kinds of bubbles and stuff. It's not, I don't know if it's going to spin. I don't think it spins anymore, but all the bubbles is all the hydrogen being put back into it. Uh, and then we're going to do a little taste test to see how it is. So we're going to let this do its thing for 13 minutes and then come back again when it's done. Okay, so that was the end of the time for the H2 water higher, the highest level of that. Uh, there's still some nice bubbles and so forth on there, which is kind of cool. Now, I've never tried hydrogenated water before, so I don't even know what to expect or how it's going to taste different or anything like that. But I know the water is supposed to be better for you. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to pour a, a small glass of regular tap water that I use. And then we're going to try this one and see if I can uh, see any difference. Okay, so I have a regular glass of water here that was just from the tap water. This was just tap water. Oh, there we go. It pours out pretty good. So it's a nice little pitcher. Now you can put this in the refrigerator. Um, if, if you drink it within a couple of days, it's going to be okay. Uh, the, the, the oxygen stuff, the hydrogen is not going to uh, disappear from it if you have it uh, within that period of time. So let's go with a regular glass of tap water. Yeah. 
Now let's try this hydrogenated water. Tastes like water. Um, I'm not sure. This this tap water maybe is a little little chlorinated kind of bit. And this one filtered. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes tastes pretty good. I, I don't know how much of a difference of taste it is, but again, this is supposed to be better for you. Has more um, hydrogen in it, oxygen, so all that kind of stuff in it, and it's purified too. So I'm sure it took out some of the uh, the nasty stuff that's in the, the tap water. But um, pretty cool. It's very simple, and easy to use. If you are looking for a hydrogenator machine pitcher filter thing just like this, you should give Purify a try.